right. Yes. Right. And also, uh, you had you have some concern about your um, eyebrow. Yeah, I was like, what exactly do you want I, to do? It's, it's more of my eyes. I think my eyes are always sleepy and looking majority of the times. I got I got a lot of rest last night, so it's probably not that sleepy looking. But I was thinking maybe if I could get like a you know a little, a little my bit eyes will go up, and it makes me look. I think when your eyes are up a little bit more, it makes you look younger. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit older for my age. Um, yeah, but we're going to do a lot of other procedures around, mm -hmm. which is definitely going to make you look younger. Uh, I'll tell you why. I'll explain to you. You want me to show you on the mirror or this is good? On the mirror, maybe you can get an idea. Mm -hmm. Now see, uh, I'll tell you what all. So the first thing is, uh, this is going to go a little bit more softer. Mm -hmm. And this entire part, this much, and this part is going to go by like 3 to 5 millimeters, not a lot. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to come up. And uh, we're going to probably augment it there, narrow it down, give you a slightly better nose. But I'm not going to take the racial features off. So you're not going to get a Caucasian nose, right? We're still going to maintain that because otherwise it will look a misfit. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep that nose the way it is. We just augment it. But let me just finish this. So when, I, when you augment this, your eyes are going to get better, especially this half. Mm -hmm. Because as you tighten this, you see, the medial canthus gets It all gets stretched because we, it's just that one skin that's going over and under. Okay. So that will be a big benefit anyways. And when we're working on the sides and we're working on the tip and when I'm augmenting that, this part of your face is going to get fuller, tighter. Mm -hmm. So what we're essentially doing, we're taking the fullness off here and we're tightening it here. So this part is going to get taken care of anyways. So the only thing that you might want to consider is this because we're not going to roll. So don't worry about anything around the eyes. It's already going to get improved with the mm -hmm. planned procedures. So this you, I mean, it's not a big deal you can take a few millimeters up if you want yeah. i can start there so you're not going to have a visible scar mm -hmm. okay that's something we can do a very simple procedure okay. now with the chin uh yeah a it's broad uh, b your lower lip is little everted and pouty and this is broad why say broad because this should be lesser than the distance between your eyes it's not so much at least a little bit more mm -hmm. so we're going to get this part forwards so that the profile when you look comes like this it's narrower once that's there, this gets like a V, gets more angular. Mm -hmm. This whole thing gets angular. And the lip gets thinner. This fold gets better. This gets narrower. And we're already going to take care of this part. So basically, it's going to be your middle third and lower third. Mm -hmm. Upper third, we're only going to get this a little bit mm -hmm. raised. Okay, so you're saying something on the, yeah, when we're... I'm not going to do anything to the lips, but your, okay. lips are lip, your lips are going to get thinner. Okay, because you did tell me the consultation, you know, that probably it will get to be done, but, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, so when we work on the chin, mm -hmm. the lips are automatically going to get a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and much more inverted, not inverted. I need my nose to be a little bit longer. Too. Yeah, sure. I How long would you want? Right. Okay. A little bit longer, like done. That's like a that's quite long, but I'll do I'll do that. One well, centimeter not, I can do. Yeah, long enough to fit my face. Sure. You know best. Yes, because see, this is already this much, and this is short. Mm -hmm. So we need to augment. There are two ways we can increase the length of the nose. A, the place it starts, and mm -hmm. E, the place it ends. Okay. So I'm going to work on both the ends. So okay. now your nose is starting here. But just see if it starts there, it already looks longer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. We're going to alter the place where it starts and also extend the place where it ends. Okay. Therefore, you will get a longer nose. Okay. Eventually, the nose will look one centimeter longer at least. Because okay. I think that's the kind of length you would need, you know, okay. for the chin. And then one more thing. So when you put this up a little bit more, uh -huh. I don't want it to be too obvious that, you know, I don't want like a crease. You won't get anything. No, no, it's going to look yeah, natural. So just as though yours is natural. It's going to be looking natural. natural. Are we going to have those bones fractured and taken in? Okay. to have that natural look okay it's okay. not going to look worked no, on no it's not going to look like no okay no okay. Okay. no okay. <laughs> you know best though you know so yeah but i still like to uh talk to you and we are all on the same page because sometimes it can happen that i'm thinking i got what you want mm -hmm. 
and then I don't get that and then I yeah. do that and then you're not so happy yeah, so I'm just to by. yeah so I don't want that so what that's why the, like, I see you do on your videos I see you do like a genioplasty to to your patients yeah I, I really like to see how that look when you do it on them I don't know sure if it's gonna you know it's gonna look awesome on you as well it's gonna look very good one last question what's wrong with my cheeks though people always tell me that you know you're not an ugly person but there's an issue with your cheeks Okay, the thing is, it's no issue, it's just that the malar bones are too broad. So oh. It looks, it gives you a little manly look. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. So that, that we can just... I look at my father. Yeah, yeah. So exactly we can like We can soften that. Mm -hmm. Even the chin is broad and short, it's a little manly. Mm -hmm. When we get it more pointy and more proportional, it's going to get a little bit okay. more uh, feminine, so to say. Okay, I got your thing. All right. Okay, ma'am, you tell me as to what all procedures you desire us of and how you came. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so I like my a cheek reduction and genioplasty, and I like my nose to be a little bit longer. Longer and also a little bit in the height. Yeah. Right projection. Yes. Okay. And um, I like an eyebrow lift. Not both sides. Together. Yeah, both sides. In order to get uh, my eyes, you know, up a little bit more, like a cat eye look or something. <laughs> yeah, and my cheeks. Uh, I would like my cheeks to be reduced. To be reduced. Yeah. Okay. So basically, it's facial slimming which you're aiming for. Um, and that's correct on her part as she mentioned all the procedures. Um, she's quite specific, uh, well aware about it. Uh, as she mentions, it's genioplasty for the chin. You can clearly see if you can just look one side and the profile view, the chin needs work definitely, and that will also correct the eversion of the lower lip. A, B, since she mentioned facial slimming, so a buccal pad fat removal, also known as bicectomy on both the sides, will give that um, correct hollowness uh, to the face, which again gives you a V shaped look. The third procedure which she mentioned is about the cheekbones and she's right, it needs cheek contouring or malar bone contouring or malar osteoplasty on both the sides for her. Also with respect to the nose, since the face will become narrower and V in shape, a, a sharper nose, a projected nose will give the, a proportionate dimension to the face. So as we can see again on the profile view, the nose is a dip, it's a sharp dip at the radix. So yes, definitely she needs augmentation. She doesn't have any functional issues. So it's going to be an augmentative rhinoplasty for aesthetic needs. Also, as she mentioned, the width, it can be reduced in terms of the width and a longer nose. Now, many patients are not very well aware of to how the face changes by a longer nose. But as she, po as she correctly pointed out, longer nose would give the correct right amount of definition. The reason being the, the distance as we can see from the base of the nose to the philtrum or uh, to the upper lip which is called the philtrum uh, is greater in her case and her nose ends right here. So a, a longer nose not only in terms of the uh, vertical height in terms of the projection but a longer length right from the radix to the tip um, can change her face dramatically for the good. And also as I brought lift she mentions she wants a uh, cat eye look in her words uh, that will also give her the desired appearance. So overall it's going to be facial slimming, um, augmentative rhinoplasty and eyebrow lift for this patient. We have come from very far uh, and we are glad to have patients like you ma'am. Thank you. We'll see as to how it goes inside the theatre and also before she goes. Thank you. Tell you Ali Mandu. Rate in this one. Jaw sculpting, like chin augmentation, you're also going to do cheek contouring to make the face more feminine and more proportional. Later, 
Later we would be doing rhinoplasty as well for the same patient. Bilateral cheek contouring and also chin augmentation. We're going to show you how she looked before we started. This patient had to take five flights before she could come here. She literally lives many, many thousand kilometers away, but that's the result we've got right now. We're going to show you the front view. So, um, this is how she's looking now. You can't appreciate much, also because of the swelling and also because of this nasal tube. Try and show you the before. So she had very strong chin and stubby short chin. We've augmented that. And broad cheekbones. She was sculpted and contoured and made it more feminine. Okay. I completed this cosmetic augmentation rhinoplasty. I'm first going to show you how she looked now, then we're going to show you how she was. So, you can see that the radix was very shallow, nose was very broad, the tip was also not that projected. I'll try and show you both the views. So yes, we did harvest the rib, rib aug augmentation, septal extension grafts, strut grafts, dorsal graft, marginal rim graft, baton graft. And that was before. Once again, you can appreciate the improvement, the augmentation slimmer, much more clear a tip. Steady strips. One to ten, what would be your number? Two or one. Really? Awesome. I get a lot of patience because this thing is like stuck, you know, and uh -huh. you can get some tissues or something. Let start slowly. So we've done plenty of procedures uh, for this beautiful lady from the land of Brian Lara, right? <laughs> And Chris Gale. Yeah, and Chris Gale. Yeah, and you, you say both. Yeah. You made them all. Okay. So, are you okay? Is, is it hurt when I do this now? Not so much, right? Not so much. Does it appear in your videos? No, no, some people have a lot of pain. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have. But I can see them. But I can feel by here, like I'm getting a wax or something. Ah, so you have amazing pain threshold. I think so. So I think that's the reason why I'm not feeling much. Yeah. We're done. All right. It looks nice. We have a mirror for her. Okay, so we're not going to take off these splints yet because it's just day six. Uh, these are the stitches from the eyebrow lift. We're going to let that remain as well. So this is from a genioplasty and jaw sculpting. So we've got nice contouring and you know there is some swelling here because of the work that we did on the cheekbone we're going to try and show you how she looked before but before that she's going to tell us how she's feeling because she says she feels perfectly fine right yeah like I you want to tell our subscribers how you're feeling with regards to pain and everything else and have a look also i do 
Like surprisingly, I thought the pain would have been so much more, and we've done so much work to my face. Uh -huh. But I woke up feeling nothing at all. Like, That's amazing. I did not feel any. I'm still not feeling any pain. I don't understand how, and then you did so much work to my face. Yes. But I feel great. I feel great. That's amazing. Yeah, I feel great, and I look great. I really love the results. <laughs> yeah, I can see the results. It's still swollen, as you can see, but you can actually see the results so far. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, you're Appreciate welcome. It. So we're going to meet you again after a couple of days, maybe. Tomorrow, we take off these stitches and yeah. we take off the nasal splint day eight. Uh -huh. And I trust you will get your tickets postponed <laughs> by a few days, as I suggested now, yeah. not in the fall. Yeah. Just for safety. Yeah. Even though I feel great, but for Yes, safety. yes. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm loving it so far. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's very nice. Can you get a picture of uh, how she looked before we started maybe from a chart or something so we just you can do some sightseeing though maybe without having to travel a lot once we remove this place or we just wait in the cave sometime it's a nice place at here but he has a palace okay. not that you should do a lot of physical things but you should just walk and see yeah. and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so you don't get too bored. Get a feel of how this part of the world is. It's very different, so. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'll have to do for a few more days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct, and we'll let you know uh, some safe, good places. Okay. Not very far Sounds from here. Good. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that's too sure. far for the hotel. Yes, so everything is nearby yeah, here in this town. Okay. You know, it's a small place that way, so. Yeah. And it seems pretty safe to me. Safe, very safe. Yeah. Very, very safe. And in fact, many patients do ask me from the US and other countries, you know, some have asked me, do you have crocodiles or, you know, snakes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's oh, the they... idea they have. Oh. Yeah, but it's not like that. It's also very safe. Yeah. I don't even lock my car. We are in a very safe part of That's India. I wouldn't very, say yeah. this is the same all across India. Yeah. But here it is very, very safe. safe. That's it's very good. Safe. That's very good. This part of the country is I'm absolutely so safe. I'm to know that. Yes, it is. I'm sure we didn't have any untoward incidents till now, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no so far no patients have told us anything. Even those patients who travel from other parts of India, yeah. some of them like really love the place. The only thing they don't like is the heat and the sweat. Yeah. It's very hot, but I'm used to it. I'm from Jamaica. I know, but it. when they come from the north of this country, where it's a bit colder and not so humid, that's yeah. something that they yeah, don't like. Kind of also, they have some issues with the food mm -hmm. because I think it's a little bit more oily and spicy and a little bit different yeah, flavors. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, but other than that, they all like the general clean, yeah. more nature-like setting, nice. more green, here. more trees, yeah. uh, beaches nearby, everything. Just gonna hurt a little bit maybe. Oh, this is day seven now. So we did multiple facial procedures for her. We we're taking off the nasal splint. I'm gonna explain everything in a while. So this was an augmentative rhinoplasty. You can see how her nose was before we started. Okay. And that's it now. You can have a look. So it looks a little pinched here now because we've taken the splint, yeah. but it's going to be gradual eventually, okay? Right. That you can see that change like just within a few minutes. Uh, but the tip, the projection from here, the angulation, all of that's going to remain. Okay, now. You can also see the other changes that we have brought about. Uh, so we can see the, you can see. Okay. You can look at the, this area. It's softer, yeah. both the sides. Here, we've augmented. Tip is much better. Yeah. Then the lips are a little bit more less averted. This height is more. This angulation is better. And of course, this has gone up a little bit. You can see from there how this is going up. And that was coming down earlier. Can you see that? Yeah. So now we show you the side views maybe. Ah, look at that. 
So here you can see a lot of improvement. And uh, the tip, you can see. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, the tip, the dorsum, the lips. Yeah, nice trouble. Yeah, a lot of improvements. Different person. <laughs> <laughs> Two different people. Not exactly. Just, um, you see the width of the face has been narrowed. Have you seen that? I do. Uh, and also the length has been increased. And that's why this width looks less now, and this is higher, so that makes a big impact to the overall. Because we, I took off about five mm from there, you know. Okay. Uh, we took off from inside, so that's the reason why you're gonna. The face looks much more angular, yeah. much more slimmer. I think also much more uh, feminine. And, here and even the eyebrow, right, so it's yeah, go it's going to go down a lot. And look at the eyebrow also of a straight line. Yeah. Of course, that was your main Practice. advice to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was your thing, but it makes a big difference right now from mm -hmm. straight to like nicely going up. And these scars are not going to be visible. Okay. Not at all. It's just going to be fine. Okay. And you said that it's just because we just take, to take the cast yeah. off. This will like That'll go to, the, yeah, but don't do that yet because okay. we've got lots of, <laughs> uh, lots of um, okay. ribbon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just let it remain. Actually, I'm going to put a tape for you That's once good. we remove all your sutures so that uh, it's safe for your journey. Okay. Right? Okay. Have any doubts for me now? Any questions? No, you did everything I wanted. Like it's perfect, and I, I love it. So. Thank you. Yeah. So nice to hear I, that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Thanks. Have a safe trip, and uh, we were going to give you another number because you're leaving us earlier than what is ideal. Yes. So I would want you to understand that and take the necessary precautions and if there's anything let us know so at least we can tell you what you should do and how you can get some help in your place okay all, all right. right thank you very much you want to take off the sutures now or tomorrow is also good morning okay. because you get extra one day she's leaving tomorrow afternoon no i'm leaving tomorrow 11 so i think it's best to 11 to tomorrow morning is good tomorrow still morning. get like some extra time okay tomorrow morning is good come by 9 or 10 she'll be here okay nine right. is good yeah that's that's okay that's we can fine. do it tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right. Super. Thank you. Welcome. So tomorrow, we'll also put the tape here once we remove it. I'll try to come so that uh, this also can be removed one day later, right? <clears throat>